you guys are so not ready for this haul today. I've never been so excited for a haul in my life. This is a giant box that just arrived and as I was literally ripping it open, I thought I had to film it because this is just too, too exciting. Okay, this is gonna be the craziest haul I've ever done. This is from a website called Yes Style. It is an Asian beauty, that was a loud clap. I'm so excited, can you tell? It was an Asian beauty and fashion retailer and I just got beauty stuff because I was just so excited about all the fun trinklets and things that I've just never seen before. So, <laughs> literally, this is rammed. <gasps> what shall we have here? Okay, ooh, I don't, know. I don't know where to start. This, I'm starting with this. This is something I was so excited about. This is, you know the Sarah Chapman facial roller that I use? This is basically a copy of that, but it just looks a bit cuter. Ooh, it feels really different too. Ooh, oh yeah. Oh, I love using these facial rollers. I feel like they really, help bring blood circulation to my skin and really my skin looks so plumped and rejuvenated after. That's when I use the Sarah Chapman one. Let's see how this one works. It doesn't feel as hard as the Sarah Chapman one. The Sarah Chapman one feels much more needy in your skin, if you know what I mean. Like, as if someone's really getting in there, it has more little points on the rollers. This one feels a bit softer, so maybe actually if the Sarah Chapman one is a bit too harsh for you, shake your maracas, then this one would work for you. Okay, what else do we have in here? These are called lifties. This is a ceramic lift facial tool. <gasps> oh, hello. Oh, it feels nice. Okay, so you kind of do it like this, apparently. I saw a video somewhere. I mean, I'm just taking off all my makeup onto this thing, but that's what you do, and you do like this. Mmm, lifty. I'm gonna try this out. I love using like fun facial tools and trying them out, so I'll let you know how this goes. Let's try this lifty, as it's called. I wonder if I should put on a facial oil or a facial cream before this, because it just feels kind of a bit like I'm rubbing a stone onto my face. Probably should have read about this. Ooh. Mm. I'm not really sure about this. Let me Google. Okay, basically it says online to just use it. Oh, that wasn't very much moisturizer. I'm finished of that, with that. It just says to use it going upwards on your face. So I'm gonna put on a little bit of moisturizer and just see how this goes. Oh, that feels a lot better but still not as great as my roller. I feel like my roller is much nicer than this and also much less confusing to use because it actually rolls on your face. And I also, I wonder how you would use this. I mean, I know I have the eye gels on, but I wonder how I would use this around my eyes. I mean, it does look cute, but if I was gonna buy this or the roller, I'd buy the roller. This is the La Neige Lip Sleeping Mask. Oh, it's so tiny. I ordered a few different things from this brand. Oh, this is a mini one, but this is the big one. I also ordered the grapefruit one and the Lip Glowy Balm. What one should we try? Should we try the mini one, the Lip Sleeping Mask? But I already have stuff on my lips, which is a bit inconvenient. Ooh, ooh, oh my God, it's so bouncy. Ooh, smells so good. Oh, I think you can actually get this on Cult Beauty, but they had more choice from this brand on Yes Style. Oh my God, what is this? Look at this. This is a cleansing jellyfish. You guys, like, why don't we have this fun stuff? And you go, oh my God. Oh, it has a face. It has a tiny little face, I'm dead serious. Okay, it has a little kind of sponge in there. It has a face on here as well. So I guess you put your cleanser in here and then you work it on your face. Oh my God, I have to try this, this is so cute. This is something I really wanted to try because I do this really terrible thing when I'm nervous that I pick my nails and I not pick my actual nail, I pick my cuticles around my nails. It's so disgusting and I probably shouldn't share that with you because it's really gross. Like the other day, this whole thing was like red and bloody. <laughs> it was really gross. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? No, this lipstick I'm wearing always gets on my teeth, but I still love it. Anyway, these are little finger pouches. You can see in this picture here, they literally slot on your finger. Very 
cutely and then you have really nice nourished nails afterwards okay help my finger nail packs this is left and this is right so let's open the right side and see what is in here oh it's just cream that's a bit weird i'm very confused oh and the left side has a little pouch thing inside should we take that out and have a look oh it seems to be quite a few of them oh okay so i guess we put these little things around my finger oh okay i opened it okay let me try and separate these they're basically little cotton pouches that are covered in cream that you just put on your fingers like that i'm going to do one hand only and see the difference if it helps okay Cover thumbs with larger sheet, should have read this first. Blah, 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 10 to 15 minutes. Remove sheets after 10 to 15 minutes. So I have these on now, and I guess I leave them on. So I guess the right side also had these pouches down in there. Okay, yeah, they do. They also had them down in there. So I'm gonna leave these on and do my makeup and see how this goes. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes now. I'm gonna take these guys off and see, oh! My fingers actually look really nice. Normally, as you know, I pick my cuticles. You can kind of see here. I do that with my cuticles. So I want to kind of show you a before. This is the before and after. Because to me, that actually did work. My cuticles are quite prominent on this hand. And this hand, they kind of seem to have just disappeared from the moisture, I think. Apparently, I'm supposed to rub it in to my nails afterwards and especially my thumb like my thumb i pick around the cuticles and stuff a lot and it's really quite moisturized and hydrated and i feel like all the little bits that i pick there aren't any like schnookies hanging around that i would pick off i'm gonna do my other hand now okay what else do we have i'm gonna show you this this i am so excited about it's called my beauty tool eyebrow comb scissors now i don't know if you know but i have to get my eyebrows done every two weeks that's how hairy i am every two weeks on the dot my eyebrows are too hairy every hair gene there is in the world i have in myself so it's not an unreal combination not gonna lie anyway these scissors are straight as you can see they have a straight edge so they work really well for chopping the hairs straightly which isn't a word but then you also have this comb so you can brush them up and then cut them on a straight edge so then they look nice and neat like they look now hopefully <laughs> do, 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 do. oh Oh my gosh, I, I'm so excited about these. I'm really getting into eye patches at the moment, especially when I travel. My under eyes are the place that I notice suffer the most first. And I got two eye patches. This is Hydrogel Eye Patch in Rose Water, Hungarian Rose Water. Oh, hello. Oh, I love the smell of rose. They're like rose and shimmery. Now, these ones I got for mainly at home because I feel like I wouldn't be able to travel with this on the plane it's just a bit excessive to bring on the plane isn't it but i also got some gold ones and i think these ones were separate if i remember correctly maybe they're not this is gold premium eye patch and it says to keep skin moisturized clear and healthy Ooh, these ones look very jelly and fun okay these ones aren't separate but maybe i got some other separate ones i don't remember but i'm really excited to try out these eye patches because i want to start using eye patches all the time like once a week to really hydrate my under eye area okay let's have a go with these hydrogel eye patches i got the rose ones out first because rose is my favorite scent they're kind of pink and glittery and it comes with this little spatula here and you just scoopy scoop oh god it's a bit drippy let's have a look oh yeah Ooh, not sure how i feel about this this is going on Ooh, nice and cooling i might just try grab the other one with my finger but actually i ended up grabbing about five instead so maybe it is good to use the spatula they do come with quite a bit of gel on them and they feel kind of cooling i like the shape of them as well <gasps> oh my gosh this is a blackhead brush cleaner this is dead serious i don't even know how this works let's have a look here oh my gosh so the ingredient that helps you clean out your blackheads is in here you basically press the side button to get it squirted out. Come on, little squirter. Come on, come to mama. 
Oh, oh, I see you. Come on. I see you down there. Oh my God, by this time this guy comes out, you would have died of old age. <sighs> okay, well, this clearly requires someone with more patience than me or it's broken. No, you know what? I don't want to put you away. I want you to work. No, it's broken. Never mind. Got some more eye patches. I basically want to try loads of different versions and then report back on what one actually works. Oh my gosh, I got the coolest thing ever. I actually bought this for Hannah because she has pigmentation under her arms. And this is, I saw this, it's an armpit brightener. I want to really try this because both of us, because of our skin types and colors and stuff, our skin can get pigmented. More Hannah than me. My skin is fairer than hers. But it's this white cream that you apparently, I mean, it doesn't really have any instructions. It just says armpit brightener and then everything is in a language I can't even read. It's this white cream that I guess you put on under your arms and ideally it makes them whiter. Oh, it's quite a white, thick cream. It's a bit like old school SPF, if you know what I mean. I thought that I might as well give this a go and see how it works. This is Cherry Blossom Jelly Cream. Now, let's have a sniff of this. Do, do, do. Oh, this is so cute. Look how pretty that packaging is. So nice. Gosh, there are just so many brands in the world, aren't there? Like, where do you even begin when you're doing this kind of stuff? Oh my God, that smells so good. Ah, cherry blossom jelly cream. I love the packaging. This is another product from Laneige, their water sleeping mask. I've heard really good things about this brand. As you can see, I went a bit wild because this place, Yes Style, seemed to have the best stock of them. <gasps> more gorgeous packaging. Ooh, I'm excited to try this. I think this will be really good. I'm excited. I feel like I haven't been this excited about beauty products in such a long time, but I see the same thing over and over and over again that this makes me so excited. I bought more eye masks. These ones are collagen eye masks. I have now one, two, three, four, five different types of eye masks. Do you think I'm gonna be able to tell the difference when I'm trying them out? Probably not. Okay, I got this by Vanilla pore brush. Oh my God, you're gonna die. You're actually gonna die when you see this. Wait, wait for it, wait for it. Sorry, I don't wanna swear, but it's just so effing cute. It's a pour in your brush. And then the lid looks like that with a little pour on it. This is a pour. So it's like a pour print on your, I mean, sorry, it's just so cute. It's a little doggy paw, it's so cute. That's what I do to Duke, I take his little paws and I hold one, I hold the other one, I go like, pause, 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 pause. <laughs> the weird things we do to our pets. I once saw this Jenna Marbles video, you have to watch it. It's called How to Annoy Your Pet. And Hannah and I found it so funny. We do annoying things to Duke all the time. Sorry, Duke, we love you really. I'm using this for the first time. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry, I still have breakfast in my mouth. <laughs> oh, it's a little paw. Let's see how this goes. Ooh, it's quite fat and not as dense as I thought it was. I'm a bit worried that it's already eaten half my foundation, actually. <laughs> I laugh because it's a very expensive foundation and it's laughter, tears. Okay, it definitely gives a light to medium coverage look, this brush, because normally I use this brush and two pumps of my foundation, you can see it now. That normally covers my whole face and right now I literally just use the last thing of my foundation and I'm nowhere near covering my whole face. I've covered like this area here. So because it's such a fat brush and it's quite wide, it does end up eating a lot of your foundation. Definitely, that is for sure. If you're someone that likes a light coverage foundation, then maybe you would do better with this but it is a fun little tool to have a little doggy paw on your face. I feel like if I was doing a more summery makeup look, which I probably should do and wear way less makeup, then this would be perfect. But I just did three pumps of foundation. And now I feel like I've covered my face the way I normally would. So I would say it definitely added an extra pump from my foundation. This is a massage cleansing tool, people. A massage cleansing tool, which I'm going to try and open. The packaging is so cute. How are you supposed to rip it? She says that she rips it. Oh, here. Ah, yes. Ooh, this is interesting. It's like a little rubber with little tiny little hairs on it. So I guess you do this. I really like the idea of because it's basically like a Clarisonic, but the really basic version. But you can wash this really easily, I think. And also, I can 
maneuver my hands on it, I can see it. Do you know what I mean? Like I can see all the little hairs. Whereas I feel like sometimes with a brush head, when they're really long, I can't see it and I can't see if it's dirty or not. Whereas like this, I can see really clearly and easily. And also I can do the maneuvering. Interesting. I wanted to try this Yes Style Beauty Blender, but I've just seen the packaging and it's a little bunny. They've literally made the beauty blender a bunny. <laughs> I can't take the cuteness. I have a few more things before we get into the next layer. Let me have a look here. I have a vitamin C advanced serum. It's 21.5% of pure vitamin C. So let's have a go with that and see how that goes. Definitely gonna need SPF. Now this is a bit gross. It's not so cute. I don't find snails cute, but this is, I actually can't even look at this. It's a snail sheet mask. Now, I need to just hide the snail because he's really grossing me out. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know how people eat snails. Ugh. And it says skin irritation care. And my skin does get quite irritated. So I'm up for trying anything to help it get less irritated. I also got the Shiseido eyelash curler because I hear so many amazing reviews about this and it's literally sold out everywhere. Uh, what is this? Useful beauty tool, double eyelid tape. How to use double eyelid tape. Let's have a look. I mean, apparently that's what it does. I'm confused. It basically gives your eyelid more room. I'm shook. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. This is amazing. Cotton pads. There was a place, I'm not even sure if it's still around in London, called Beauty Mart. It used to be in Harvey Nichols and they had the most amazing cotton pads. But then I decided that I needed to spend money on other things rather than cotton pads. But these are the best cotton pads. They're like hugs for your face. I wish I could reuse them. And as you know, I use reusable cotton pads. But when I saw these, I wanted to try them because I wanted to see if they were that different. And I do really treasure these. I love, love these cotton pads. They're like literally silk on your face. They're so gorgeous. If anyone has any reusable cotton pads that don't get too harsh, I basically want like a muslin cloth feel in a cotton pad, if that makes sense. Like I feel like my reusable cotton pads have got really harsh and I feel like they're not being very gentle on my face. Okay, we're coming to the last legs of this. Oh, oh, hello. This is an energy beauty bar. What on earth is this? Oh my gosh. Okay, so this vibrates. Oh my God. Hello. Good morning. It's vibrating. And then you... Oh, that feels nice. Oh, that's nice. Oh, so you apparently like work in... I'm reading it and it's not even in English and I'm like, oh, this is apparently what you do. But I think you work in your product with this. I mean, I don't want to ruin my makeup and get my makeup all over it, but oh, I'm excited. This is cool. I love fun beauty tools. And I think they actually work, these kind of things, like bringing stimulation to your skin. I definitely notice the difference. This is, oh my God, you guys are gonna die. Okay, just read it. That's right, people. It's a rice toner. I'm sorry, I just had to. I'm obsessed with rice. I love rice. And um, if anyone's gonna use a rice toner, it's gonna be me. Wow, it's in a really nice packaging. Gosh, I am obsessed with this website. I'm gonna link them down below. Go check it out. You can find some really cool stuff on there. Oop, hello. I just really wanna try this toner. Does it smell of rice? Not really, but I have so many scents on my hand right now. I can't really tell. Okay, it doesn't seem to have a scent, but I also have about six different scents on my hand, so I can't really tell. But I actually am so excited that I have a rice toner. I'm gonna love you so much. Anything rice that I can get in my life, I'm getting in my life. That's the end of that story. This is my first ever time using something rice related on my face. It's a bit of a milky toner, this one. It comes out, it's like almost opaque as you can see. Let's have a look, what is it? Doesn't really smell of anything. Ooh, feels nice and refreshing. I'm excited to see how this goes. That feels really nice actually. It's got off some grime that I didn't clearly get off last night from my makeup. Lovely, even though I know that's not what toners are supposed to be for, but it's a bonus. Oh, you know what that grime is? I fake tanned my face last night, so that's probably some residue. <laughs> residue tan, lovely. Gosh, that feels really nice. Really refreshing, actually. Ooh, I like that a lot. I'm just trying to read what it actually says, but it's not in my language. So that is 
that. I mean, that's really nice. I'm definitely going to use this. It feels really good on my skin. And I'll keep you posted what it actually does. Oh, I also got a green tea seed serum. I really liked the look of this brand. It's called Innisfree. That was where this one was from, the uh, Cherry Blossom. It was one of their best-selling brands, I think, on their website. So let's give this a go. Green tea seed serum. I feel like this, I'm gonna love this skincare. I don't know why. You know when you just have a really good feeling? Then I got a Vanilla Sky lip balm they kind of it's also by innisfree it's kind of similar to glossier but i feel like this brand has been around longer so maybe glossier took some inspiration you guys are gonna die this is la neige that same brand with the lip sleep mask this is a time freeze facial lift roller who thinks it looks like two ovaries just me never mind <laughs> Let me have a look here. They have a big ovary and a small ovary and apparently the small ovary is supposed to go on the top, the big ovary is supposed to go on the bottom and you just roll it roll, roll it roll. Okay, so this is their facial massage brochure which I'm actually gonna take time to read. So you go upwards, you go outwards, alongwards, you do your scalp with this, your neck, your forehead. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I've really, really, really got into facial rolling recently. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, that was all wrong. Don't copy that. I'm just so excited. I feel like facial rolling has actually made my skin look so much more glowing and youthful. Maybe you guys can let me know. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong and I just enjoy it. But either way, if it doesn't do anything, I actually really enjoy the ritual. And then the, the last thing is some more eye patches. <laughs> I really should have gone easy on the eye patches, but that is literally it from this haul. Ta-da! That is it. What am I doing? I'm still, I'm still a bit sick, aren't I? No, that's just me being normal. Okay. I'm just so excited about this haul, and when I'm excited about stuff, I get overexcited. <laughs> anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this haul. If you don't already, please join me and click subscribe to my YouTube channel because I upload quite a few times a week. Right now I'm trying three times a week, Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. So if you want to, you can come follow me on Instagram. My username is at Amelia Liana and I will see you in a couple days time with another video. Mwah. Bye guys. Oh, also if you tried any of these products, please let me know in the comments. Thanks. <laughs> Bye.